Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Eye, and we just updated the new Monsters Code 1.10 on our Monsters Pro. Let's go ahead and uh, dig into this a little bit. This is my laboratory. First things first, holding both the flippers at the very beginning allows you to now get into your choose your mode of play competition. So you have randomness removed, challenges, couch potato challenge, which was one of the newest updates. DJ Mixer added to the game. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I mean, what we found in Turtles was just a little bit more of a menu that allows you to do more stuff. As you can see, Couch Potato there. We'll go ahead and play this real quick and play through it. This is very shot specific. So you have 20 shots that are remaining. And I will say I, I've had the opportunity to play through the newest code as well, which we will try to get a quick game on there to kind of show you what happened. But lots of new updates. It's a lot more smooth. And what I mean by that is there's actually new uh, cinemagraphics as far as uh, video that they put into it. A Herman, uh, they put some extra different things that you can collect from uh, the added grandpa's teeth. Some different things that you can add to get more jackpots. Uh, cut scenes for spot, stuff of that have been updated. And of course, we'll try to walk you through that here after this couch potato challenge. So this is more of a Monsters Code 1.10 deep dive. It's just going to kind of show you the new challenges and the things that have been added. Hence the angle of the camera, so that way we could get a good uh, visual of not only the gameplay, but some of the biggest pieces of it, which is the media that, that is on the machine. And if you notice on Couch Potato Challenge, you're giving me a lot of balls. Very hard to cradle them to try to hold it. We got four shots remaining. Couch Potato Challenge. We won it 53.9 million, 197 potato bonus. This is pretty fun. It's just, it's basically like a massive multi ball added into the game, uh, which allows you to kind of, kind of like turtles. It's almost like jump into the, the final game per se, or the final challenge. Uh, Couch Potato Challenge is kind of fun like that, where it allows you to kind of have a massive multi ball going. And just kind of see what you're, you know, what you can score on it. But I think 58.8 million dollars, clearing it pretty quickly within about two minutes. That's an actually really good challenge. So anyway, we went ahead and walked you through that. Let's go ahead and hit the new code. And this is not shooting in order to, you know, win a game here. This is me trying to slowly uh, show you some of the updates. Which pay attention to the media. As we, as we play this, if we don't just ball out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, like I was saying before, you got Grandpa's teeth, you have some different things that have been updated there. Some of the enlarging ray uh, media has been updated. Some of the spot uh, media has been updated. You got the skills. Very good. Also, some of the, uh, some of the voices have been updated a little bit. So as you notice right off the bat, some of the the media that's on there from the words has been changed a little bit. At the very beginning of the game also, they had the monsters in green, which is really nice. I'm again, not trying to shake this, this game at all. The reason for that is I don't want the camera to get off base, but. So as you see there, this is Zap Alert, and then you have uh, some chrome teeth to the right of that. And you could collect those teeth through making uh, shots for Grandpa. Don't give this one back to you. How's that? Also, I will say the media is a lot cleaner too. Uh, before, you know, he would freeze up right there. As you play into this, uh, he doesn't free he doesn't freeze up as much. Oh my goodness. 
So let's go ahead and get into multi-ball. Hopefully we can show you quite a few of these updates. So again, pay attention to just the media that's occurring. right there, a little bit new media. You notice the bat flying around, different visuals there. This is perfect to hit a multi-ball because it's going to allow you to see a lot more of this media. And maybe we could clear a couple modes while we're at it, which it looks like we are doing. So if you notice the enlarging ray now has a little purple orb in there. See the enlarging ray at 30 and then you got Lily at 28. It kind of lets you know what you're doing so you can keep track of, of, of beating these modes. And also gives you some extra scoring capability. Monsters is such a fun game just because of stuff like this. They laugh in the background. It's like you're watching the show. Grandpa's teeth from a prior game. Basically, I was collecting them and it, it allowed me to go into an extra jackpot. So I'm pretty sure that's what the purpose of those teeth are. But beyond that, as you noticed, uh, Cast Potato, very fun. Uh, lots of lots of smooth media that has been included into this newer media, uh, as well as some extra bonus things, which is more like Star Trek, where you're collecting things like instead of collecting, you know, emblems or collecting this or collecting that, uh, you're actually collecting Grandpa's teeth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, they made a great improvement to this game. I thoroughly enjoy it. Monsters is a great game. It's one of my top ten, hence why I own it. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoy this uh, code update. Uh, but anyway, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, signing off. Till next time.